guys, Melissa here at TCT Crafts, and thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Today we are going to be making a really easy, simple centerpiece. We're going to be making this little rustic woodlands design centerpiece. It was very quick, um, only a few items that we added in here, and it matches our swag that we designed last week. So if you haven't checked out that video, um, make sure to do so. It's our winter woodlands swag, um, and it matches exactly... Um, a lot of the same elements that we use in the swag match into this design. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. And if you're loving these tutorials, I wanted to share a special announcement. I just opened up the membership group here on YouTube. It's a very low price. And um, you're just going to get two additional tutorials per month um, that is exclusive to members only. So if you guys are interested in just getting a little bit more content, Go check out our membership. I'd love to have you guys over there. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so and click the little notification bell. You'll get notified every time we have a new video out. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys, today we are going to be designing a little centerpiece using this cute little um, metal sleigh that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So this was originally $19.99 and they have their Christmas on sale 50% off. So you get it for about 10 bucks. And so this is going to be what we're going to use to make our centerpiece. We're going to make sort of a rustic woodland centerpiece. Um, it'll go along with our swag that we designed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Now I am going to be designing this more front facing. Um, but we will put stuff on the side so you guys, I'll try to turn it so you guys can see what I'm doing. But just know that that's how we're going to be designing it, okay? So the first thing I want to add is I want to add this little tree. But I don't want it quite that tall back here. So I'm going to cut it. So this I picked up at Hobby Lobby as well. It was $4.99. And then, of course, you got it 50% off. So I'm just going to see if I can snip this. I don't want that face on there. That way I can have it sit right in there like that. And these are wired, so you can kind of move it like you want it. Okay, let me add some glue, cut this little string off. I guess I should mention that I did add a block of foam to the inside. It's just a, a little block of foam you get from the Dollar Tree. So I just super glued it and then add just a little bit of hot glue to hold it. Um, but this is metal, so you don't want to just use hot glue. It'll peel right off. So there is super glue on that as well. So right now we have our little tree kind of in the corner here. Okay. Now let's get our next element. I think I want to put this ornament sort of right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this string off. And I'm going to find where I can use a floral pin. To hold this into the foam. It's just going to be a matter of getting this in there. There we go. Let's get another one. Let's get one on this side. There we go. So I have two floral pins. I'm going to add some glue. Right, we can add another one too just for extra security. Just for good measure, we'll go ahead and add one on this side. Make sure I'm 
getting it into the bone there. I don't want it showing, so I'm trying to get it. There we go. smaller version of what we used on our swag so I think I want to just kind of tuck it in right there so I'm going to go ahead and cut the little string off and these came from Hobby Lobby as well it was a pack of two and we used the big the big presents in our swag design you haven't watched that tutorial um, go check it out this will be a nice little addition to that so I'm gonna go ahead and add blue and then we're gonna add our floral pins as well this is foam and I want it kind of up at an angle. I'm just gonna push that pin in there. And let's, see. let's do one on this side. one to go through the ornament and into our yeah into our present there and we're gonna hide those floral pins we're gonna have greenery and stuff in here so those will get hidden okay so right now we have our little ornament and a tree a little present Let's add our little owl pick. So we also used him in our design before. This was um, from Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99 and then 50% off. So let me just see if I can get this tag off. We'll get him in here. And then we'll start working on adding some of our greenery. This is going to be a pretty easy design. Shouldn't take too long to do. We have a lot of big elements in here that's filling it up nicely for us. Okay, we'll cut this down a little bit. So I think he's going to sit sort of right in there. I think I want him just a little bit lower. hot glue on that and just sticking that in there now I did not bring any um, ribbon for this design so we're not gonna have a bow in it but you could definitely add a little bow if you wanted to let's get our other present it's gonna sit I think on this side since we have this one on this side let's go opposite and Kind of tuck it in right here. So again, I'm going to take my floral pin, going right through that present into that foam. And then we'll add some glue. And I can't just glue that to the to the sleigh because it may peel off. So I'm making sure that we're going into that foam, through the present and into the foam. And we'll cover those pins up. I'm gonna add one more, just for added protection. 
Who was stuck up here, right in that glue? too much. This is what we have so far. I was originally thinking putting it right here, but I think it might just be too much. Let's add our greenery. Let's add our greenery first and let's see. So I have these little cluster picks. I'm going to add one right in the front there. Okay, so we just filled in that little space with that one. berry out because I don't want red in here. If you wanted to add a little pop of red, you could leave the berries in, but I'm going to take it out. And we're going to just push that right in there. On the side, sort of hugging that like that. So they're kind of opposite of each other. This one I want in just a little bit more. Okay. Now let's see. Let's take our pine branch. We're going to cut it up. I'm going to cut the pine cone off. We might use it, but. I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces. Okay, let's see which one is bigger because these two are about the same. So I know I want our bigger piece in the back. Dip it in my glue. Make sure I get it right in that foam. And this one, I'm going to put right there. Probably would have been easier if I'd have done that first, which usually I do, and I don't know why I didn't, but it went in. I heard it, so we're good. We're gonna put one on that side. Let's see, maybe a little bit smaller one. Yeah. surrounded our little tree there. I'm going to cut this in half because we want a little piece of greenery right in here, but we don't want it very tall. front piece. I'm actually going to cut it down just a tiny bit more. Okay, so we just 
kind of tucked a little piece right there. We got our little piece right in here. So we're just filling in those holes. We need to put something right up in here in the front, underneath this little pick to fill in that space. I think this will be too small. Yeah. Let's see if we want to use. No. Let's get another piece. I had brought three different greenery bushes, but we may not even need to use all three. It's filling in very nicely. Okay, so now let's get I'm gonna make that one a little longer. Let's try it again. Take two. So we got to go a little further in to get that to hit that foam. I'm just going to hit that with some glue down in there. smaller pieces and put in between right in here I'm going to use my scissors just to get a little hole taller pieces on this side. Let's see. I've got to get in to that foam. Decision. Have another pick. And I can see I'm gonna have to add more more super glue to our foam because it's coming up. So when we finish I'll lift it up and add more. You can see it's coming off. So I'll add more super glue and get that tied in there really nicely once we're done. But it kind of helps me get in the back here. So that kind of worked out good. So you could you could totally design it on your phone and then glue it in. Another option. Now I want this little piece right here in the corner so it kind of fills in that. to see our, our little pieces in there. I'm almost wondering though if we need a little piece of greenery tucked right in there. Yeah, I kind of like that. So that will not hit the foam. 
So we're just going to add some glue and it'll sit right next, it'll glue right to that little ornament present. That little gift box, it's going to glue right to that. That just kind of fills in that little hole right there. I got super glue on my fingers now. Okay. Let me see if I want any coming out the front. So it kind of looks like it's flowing this way. Let's do it. Let's add it. So I think what I'm going to do when I, is I'm going to put a little, I'm going to um, super glue a little piece of felt right in here and then I'll glue this to our felt and it should not go anywhere. But this is another option if you didn't want to glue it in, you could sell them separately. I mean you could sell it like this to your customer. That way they can interchange and add something else to the sled. Just another option. But this is what we have. Just a cute little centerpiece. A few little ingredients. And I think it turned out really cute. So until next time, guys. Bye, y'all.